While the vast majority of car mechanics are decent and reliable, it's a sad but true fact that some are not. If you're unlucky enough to have your car left in the garage days after you took it in, with bills mounting up unnecessarily, you'll know what we mean. Be sure to watch this video until the end to find out how some fuel has a misleading name. If this is your first time visiting The Thing, then please give this video a like and hit the subscribe button. Here are 10 ways your car mechanic is ripping you off on the regular. Beware the idiot light. One of the most unnerving things that can happen to a driver is finding out the check engine light is turned on. That's the yellow light that comes on when a range of problems are triggered. The thing is, this light can refer to a multitude of errors. It could be a major part of the car, such as the catalytic converter in need of repair. This is something that could potentially cost a lot of money. Equally though, it could be that there's a loose connection of some kind in the sensor wires. The problem is that without having a proper look at your car, you won't know. This isn't one of the lights where there can only be really one thing wrong. So if it does come on and it stays on, then you should take it to the garage as soon as possible. However, this is definitely a case where you hope you have a scrupulous mechanic. Most garages will charge to diagnose the problem, which could be fixed by simply resetting the code. However, an undercover study made by American broadcasters ABC found that some garages charged for doing work that didn't need to be done after what some called the idiot light lit up. It can be easy to feel helpless in these situations, so you do have to hope you have a trustworthy mechanic. Hey guys, we are so excited to announce we are producing our own original content. Head over to the trendy for the best DIYs, fashion tips, makeup hacks, and so much more. We are sure you're going to love it, and be sure to let us know what you think in the comment section. We love to hear from you. See you there. A battery you don't need. It's the sound that every motorist dreads. You turn the keys in your ignition and it shudders and it clanks and then nothing. That's the sound of a flat battery. Maybe you've left the lights on accidentally. Or perhaps you've been waiting around with the engine off and you've been listening to the radio. Sometimes you can get lucky and a fellow motorist will help give you a kickstart. But sometimes that just isn't possible. So you call your breakdown people. Now most reliable breakdown companies will be able to give you a jump start. And if that doesn't work, they'll test the battery. Only if it doesn't respond to the test, then it should be ripped out of your engine and thrown away. However, not all breakdown companies can be trusted. Shockingly, an investigation in 2016 found that one of Britain's biggest car breakdown companies were telling people to ditch perfectly good batteries. Married couple John and Sheila Smith suffered a breakdown, and when the company's patrol van came to see them, they said there was a faulty cell in the battery. Mr. Smith was suspicious, and when he went to the shop he bought the battery from, they found it was fine. An investigation by the Watchdog Consumers Rights TV show found 8 out of 10 roadside repairers tried to sell people new batteries when they didn't need them. Them. The RAC says it has sophisticated testing technology and stood by its staff. Air Filter Con One of the most overlooked parts of a car is the air filter. This contraption, featuring rows and rows of specially created paper, doesn't sound like a glamorous thing to have in your vehicle, but it really is crucial. Anyone who's ever been in a car which didn't have one will know there's a big difference. The filter removes things such as dust, pollen, mold, and dangerous vapors from the engine and stops them going into the main part of the car. Without them, drivers and passengers will experience what some petrol heads call motor breath, which is when all the gunk you're usually insulated from hits you. Trust us, it is extremely unpleasant. Now most decent garages will include an air filter change when your car gets its annual service. However, the relative obscurity of the air filter means that it is a prime target for the sort of mechanics who will rip you off. Some of the scams are not uncommon. For instance, a car might be taken in for something else and the staff at the repair shop will actually dirty up the filter to make you get a new one. Or they'll tell you that they've changed the filter, charging you for it when they've left the old one in there. Our advice? If in doubt, try to change the air filter yourself. This may not be possible on all cars though. Test drive becomes joyride. The whole point of going to a mechanic to get your car fixed is to make sure that it can be driven effectively and safely. This seems self-evident, really. And if your car is causing you problems, it can be a relief, albeit an expensive one, to find it repaired. And it's natural for the mechanic to give it a test drive afterwards just to make sure that the problem has been solved. However, you have to hope that you've got a fixer who is not going to take liberties, because sometimes the test drives can, sadly, turn into joyrides. There have been cases where a mechanic has taken a high-end car on a far longer journey than the repairs warrant, and because the trip has been a long one, there's been an accident. Lawyer Steve Leto tells the story of a client who took a brand new Corvette into the body shop because a rear view mirror was vibrating. Sounds like a pretty minor repair, right? However, the mechanics took the car for a drive and then managed to wreck it. Luckily for Steve's client, the company settled outside of court. It may not happen to you, but be careful that you trust your garage enough. You don't want them to rack up a bill for a dent or even for them to leave you having to buy more gasoline than is needed. Unnecessary headlight cleaning. 
Sometimes it's nice to get a bit more than you expected. When we pay for services, it's always a good thing when someone goes the extra mile. However, it's not so nice to get a bill for something that you didn't need or even ask for. When it comes to visiting mechanics, sometimes they'll charge you lots for something that should cost very little. For instance, if you see a charge because they've cleaned your dirty windows, that's a problem. What's even worse is when there's a charge for cleaning headlights. Did you know that you can do this using an everyday household item? That's right, if you hit the lights with toothpaste, you can get them clean again. This is because toothpaste contains a very mild abrasive substance that helps rid your teeth of muck. That same thing will also do exactly the same for the headlights of your car if they get dirty. What you have to do is pretty simple. If you wash the lights with soapy water first, that'll help. But then you should put some toothpaste on a wet cloth and give your lights a good rub down. It should take about 10 minutes, but it will work. That'll save you a bit of a bill, and it's good to know that you can do that thing yourself rather than get ripped off by a dodgy garage. Scratch Fever Today, we have been looking at the sort of things that unscrupulous garages, mechanics, and body shops can rip you off. These are usually the kind of things that could happen to pretty much any motorist with pretty much any make and model of car. However, if you're the sort of driver who sees a small scratch on their car and says, so what? Then this may not affect you so much. But the rest of us should be very wary of getting small, tiny, cosmetic nips, scratches, and the like repaired. After all, if you've got a slightly older car, then these sorts of things are to be expected. However, you might have got some things that just can't be put down to the passage of time. You might have a load of very large scratches, or you might have the sort of dent that actually impacts on your car's performance. However, you need to be be careful. There have been reports of charges of more than $1,000 for easing out a small cosmetic scratch. The thing is, this is one of the cases where you might well find yourself as a hostage to fortune. We know that getting the right kind of car paint may not be easy, but this is a big example of a piece of work costing way more than it should. Spark plugs. If you have got a car, then you will know just how important it is to keep the little bits and bobs under the bonnet in good condition. They are things that might not look like much, but can make a big difference in terms of your vehicle's safety and reliability. However, there's one thing that some mechanics might tell you to do that you don't need, unless your car is really old. There's something that everyone has heard of, and that's the spark plug. These little things were something that needed to be changed every year at one point. That's because back in the day, engines didn't burn gasoline that efficiently. That meant that when it was time for the annual service, the plugs would end up being black from carbon. That was, and still is, a sign that they needed to be switched around. Normally, if you've got a mechanic who has been around for a long time, you might give them the benefit of the doubt. However, for a more contemporary garage owner, there can't really be any sort of excuse. In fact, if your car has been running for less than 100,000 miles, you shouldn't need new spark plugs. If your mechanic says you do, then it might be that your car has some other problems that need solving. Otherwise, they might be trying to rip you off. Manipulating figures. We all like it when our car works perfectly, but of course there are going to be times when it doesn't. That's when we have to take it into the garage. Now, it may be the case that you will need to have some work done in a part of the car that is quite hard to get into. For instance, if you need your water pump replaced or fixed, then it can be quite hard to get to it, so your mechanic will charge you a decent amount for service and labor. That's because the garage will have to take out a number of older parts before they can get to the pump itself. Now, if these parts are showing serious signs of wear and tear, or if they have got damage, then it is sensible and right to get them seen to at the same time as the water pump. When you get the bill, it should charge you for all the parts and for the labor and service required to take the water pump out. However, a big warning sign would be if there's a charge for service and labor for all the parts. There shouldn't be any confusion in any way whatsoever. The work taking them out and putting them in should be covered by the cost of the original work. Steering wheel problems. Whenever you think of driving, there's one part of a car that oddly gets overlooked sometimes. That is the steering wheel. It's probably the single most important driver-operated part of the car. Well, okay, the brakes are crucial when it comes to safety. But at the end of the day, driving is about motion. And driving would be boring, not to mention just a little bit pointless, if you weren't able to steer the car anywhere. However, the thing about steering wheels is that any potential problems are hidden in a place where you, the driver, can't see them. So it is a quick money-making exercise by crooked mechanics to charge for steering rack bearings. They can't be seen, so it is quite straightforward to get them fixed, even if they actually aren't. There are other things that fall into this category, too. We're talking about the likes of the tailgate strut, the water pump, the door hinge mounting, and even the wheel bearing. Of course, it is always possible that these things might genuinely need some work. Just because you don't know what's going wrong, that doesn't automatically mean that it isn't going wrong. However, be aware that if a lot of these things are listed on your next repair bill, if they are, then it is possible that you and your mechanic have reached the end of the line. Fuel types. Today, we have been talking about how some unscrupulous mechanics will use people's lack of knowledge when it comes to vehicles to make a quick buck. Usually, it's done through making repairs that aren't needed or by charging over the odds for service and labor. However, there is one thing that some high-end body shops sometimes do that can hike up charges. Sometimes, if a car is having a lot of work, that petrol tank will need to be drained. That will mean that a garage might give you some gasoline. If you're lucky, it's included in the price of the work. However, if you are really unlucky, you'll get hit with a charge for premium fuel. 
A survey from the American Automobile Association found that motorists in the USA paid an extra $2.1 billion in 2016 for this stuff. The thing is, it's not really any better for your car than the fuel you're already using. The AAA's Managing Director of Automotive Engineering and Repair, John Nielsen, said drivers who saw the name premium at the gasoline pump were often mistaken. They thought the fuel was a higher quality, when in fact it was just higher octane. Mr. Nielsen's advice was to check the owner's manual to see which gasoline works best for your car. That's got us thinking. When have you been caught out by a misleading name? Let us know in the comments. And that's all for our 10 ways your car mechanic is ripping you off on the regular. If you enjoyed it, why not check out 20 genius car cleaning hacks? Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.